In this tutorial, you will learn how to save your SketchUp animation as a video. So till end of this video, please keep watching. Thanks for your support. Let's go. Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, we only talk about the SketchUp 3D modeling and preferences. So in this tutorial, I will talk about how we can save our SketchUp animation as a video very simple and easy. First of all, I'm going to start my job with these scenes in here. Interior number one, scene number two, number three, number four, and it's over. For creating animation in SketchUp, you only need to click on the window, model info, and first bar is the animation. I'm going to click on the animation and increase the seconds between scene transition from 2 seconds for example to the 4 seconds. And scene delay is the 1 and it's good. So I can close it but the main story is not ending here. You can click on the uh, paint bucket in here and close the material and click on the styles. The styles helps you to create artistic and graphical images in SketchUp. So I'm going to click on this part of my job, click on the M model, click on the simple unit in here, edit mode, edge setting, and I will increase the profiles to the 4 for example, to create some type of drawing and artistic profiles. I can turn on the depth queue to the 5, extensions to the 8, and endpoints to the uh, 16 for example. Now we have some type of graphical design in here and it really help us. If you want to convert it to the sketchy render you can check out the jitter mode and it helps you to create these type of things in here. If you want to add these type of style as your main style you can click on the refresh button in here and it will check for you. I can click on the face setting and change the uh, face conclusion. As you can see, we can convert it to the wireframe or some other things like the simple style or x-ray style or x-ray with the uh, transparency. I prefer to use simple mode with the uh, textures, something like that. And I will click on the uh, next item which is called background setting. Right now it's not really useful because it's usually working the exteriors. But if I want to go outside of this house, you can see the sky for example. I can click on the sky and change the color of it to the uh, orange and select OK. Something like that. But it's not really totally useful. So when I click on the interior number Y, my sky color will be come back to the uh, blue color. And it means that all of the setting and style will save for your scene. So I'm going to save it in here. Next step is the uh, display watermarks. You can add some type of customized watermarks. Very simple and easy. And the next to it is the modeling setting. So that's really important. I will come back to the setting mode. And I want to create my animation. But I don't know how. So I will switch to the scene number 2 in here. It takes 4 seconds. Like that. And now... I can click on the, uh, for example, default styles in here and select my simple style number one and right click and update my scene to apply these style on the scene number two. So when I click on the interior number one, this is my first style. And when I click on the scene number two, it will slowly convert to the uh, simplest style. Everything is done for me. Now time for the creating animation. So I'm going to close it in here and I will start my animating. So interior number one selected for me. I'm going to click on the window, model info and reduce the uh, scene transition to the 3 and the scene delay is the 0 0.5 or 1 second. I'm going to click on the file, export and animation. If you create these scenes in a SketchUp in this part of your job at the top side, the animation will be available for you. So I'm going to click on the file, export animation. 
and for example I want to save it on my desktop with the uh, mp4 file type in here but before I click on the export I can click on the options and change the resolution to the uh, full HD HD or SD but right now we work with the custom so I will click on the custom and change the aspect ratio to the custom mode right now I can adjust my resolutions much easier so for the uh, width I will type 1080 I want to create some type of 101 aspect ratio and if you want to know what is your aspect ratio you can click on the preview frame size and it will show you something like that so I think it's good for me if you want to create portrait animation you can increase the height number for example 1600 pixels and FPS is the uh, 30 you can't increase it to the uh, for example 60 something like that you must type it so I prefer to use 30 you can check the loot at, loop at the uh, starting scene in here it means that at the final scene it will come back to the uh, first scene but we don't need it so I can check it out it's not really big deal so I'm going to click on the OK and press export on my desktop it takes a little bit of time and it will start rendering and saving your video from a sketch of file on your desktop as you see that it's really simple and easy job for the uh, beginners in SketchUp. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. If this content is useful for you, please comment your opinion about us. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and goodbye.